And I saw a Korean Jesus. They had a Korean Jesus with the... Don't get mad. How else would I know? It was just, it went Korean Jesus. Ooh, whatever. <laughs> whatever. I remember I was in a taxi, I think in New York, and it was, the driver was Muslim, and there was a woman crossing in front of us, and he honked her because she went after the light had turned, and she gave him the finger. And he said to me, do you know in my country, <laughs> if a woman show you this finger, I could get out, beat her to death. And if I drive by here a week later, she's still just be laying there. <laughs> like nobody would even clean it up. <laughs> Jesus Christ. The truth is Jesus was black, but you don't see that often. Black Jesus. Hey man, get me the fuck down from here. Whatever, all right. Airplane one time and a married couple came on and they had been sat separately. There was some mistake. The woman, she's supposed to sit here. She comes up to me and she says, would you mind moving so I can sit with my husband? And he's behind her. He's like. <laughs> and I wanted to help him. But what am I going to say to his wife? Just, no, I won't move. So I just got off the plane. I didn't go on the trip. And it took off and it hit the World Trade Center. So that was. I, uh, you ever uh, feel like you're going to fart and then instead you shit on your father's face? <laughs> and, uh... <laughs> And everybody on the bus is like, hey, that's not appropriate. And you're like, I thought it was going to be a fart. And they go, oh, all right, then. Because, look, my mom just died. She just died. That's how it works. By the way, for you young people, here's how life goes. One of your parents is going to die. And the other one is just never going to fucking die. And guess what? It's not the one you wanted. Nope. You know, people hate child molesters so much, they hate them worse than murderers or anybody else. <laughs> right, right, right. So getting caught child molesting is just, that's the end. That's the worst. It's really the end of your life in every way. Your that's friends right. are gone. Whatever you had is gone. <laughs> yeah. Right? So right. Uh, that's why a lot of kids that get molested get killed. Because it's like, once you molest, whatever got you to the moment where you molested a kid. Right. Once you hit that moment, you're like, I can't let this kid go now. Because I'm fucked if this kid goes home and tells anybody. So you kill the kid. Right. So the bit was that if we could if we could hate child molesting a little less, <laughs> we might, some kids. They might yeah, we kids. might get some kids oh, back. Wow, that is a brilliant thought. If somebody could that go is... <laughs> say to themselves, "All right, I molest," you know, somebody could call wow. you and go, "Hey, I molested your kid. You want him back after soccer? Do you want me to drop him off after this game? <laughs> Does he have any allergies I should know about?" I, that what I just said is true. Right. That if we hated child molesters less, less children would die. Right. I don't know what to do with that information. <laughs> like, I don't, you don't know where to go. I don't know what to do with it. I can't you make came any to the right place today. Yeah. yeah, this is the place to air those kinds yeah. of thoughts. You know, like when you were in school, did you ever have when you were in school when you were a kid, like fantasies about your parents dying so that you'd be really special in school? Like if your parents got killed, you'd go to school and they'd make an announcement, Joey's parents died today, so everybody and all the cute girls would come up and go, are you okay? And stuff like that, which would never happen. They just walk up and you go, I'm still not gonna fuck you, you faggot. <laughs> <laughs> That's what would have happened. And that would have even, I would have jerked off to that and had a better time than if I fucked them. <laughs> Seriously, to me. Some, some Catholics believe that contraception is murder. They think if you wear a condom, if you stop a sperm from getting to an egg, you killed a possible baby. By that logic, I could say that any woman that won't fuck me is a murderer. <laughs> Let me tell you, there's a bunch of murdering bitches out there. Well, FX um, uh, took my series off. I don't know why. <laughs> <laughs> The fuck? It's so weird. It was really successful. Yeah. <laughs> and then they just made an arbitrary decision. That's weird. To just. I mean, I was baffled. I yeah. was like, guys, why? We're like, it's just the feeling we yeah, have. That, I was that. like, that's weird, guys. Probably like, like so, a new CEO. They always do shit like that. That's that, the thing. Yeah. I, yeah. I haven't thought of that. Yeah. 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 There wasn't one, but maybe it's something like that. Like 9 11, you had to end the sorrow and the anger and the and the rage and the sadness. You had to go, dude, fucking bullseye. Bullseye. <laughs> One of my favorite stories about it was uh, there was a documentary about it on PBS after, and they talked, to, you know, they tried once before with the with the truck bomb. 
So they uh, interviewed a, a marshal, a federal marshal, who mm -hmm. escorted one of the perpetrators of that first bombing to his trial mm. in Manhattan. Mm. And they had him in a helicopter and they're flying to the courthouse. So he's next to the prisoner. Oh, and they're shit. flying right next to the World Trade Center. My God, this guy. And the the federal guy, the Fed Marshal, is just a cop. He says, I pointed at the buildings and I said, you didn't get him, did you? And the kid, guy just coldly said, we'll get him. Wow. wow. They did. Those buildings are no longer there. <laughs> yes. <laughs> they they're did. No long, they're no longer there. People talk about, like, don't eat dolphins when they're in the tuna. Pick out the dolphins, right? <laughs> <laughs> gotta pick it out, like raisins. <laughs> um, but, and like, you ever look at, you ever go to shop for tuna and, like, it says dolphin safe, and you kind of go, like, yeah, but, like, somehow you think it's not gonna be as good. Like, I wanna do the right thing, but. Probably kind of bland without the <laughs> dolphin. But here's the thing: like, why not kill and eat a dolphin? Why not? Oh, because well, no, I don't fucking get it. If if you're a tuna, fuck you. We're eating you. So I don't really see the difference, and I think it's wrong to eat tuna and dolphin and cows and everything. But I eat them. I eat them all because I don't care that it's wrong. I totally think it's terrible, but that's not important to me that it's terrible. So what if it's wrong? It tastes good. And I like the way it feels when I eat it, so fuck it. But I'm not going to pretend I'm doing something that's okay just because it doesn't think or something. So when I think about that, I think, yeah, so people die. What's the big deal? They're dead, and some of them were might have been assholes. You don't know. I just want to say I'm not trying to say that if you're white, you can't complain. Right. I'm just saying that if you're black, you get to complain more. Right. Right. Because <laughs> you can't. There you go. No, don't tell the band that. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Because yeah, 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 yeah. you can't. You get this right. You can't take people's like historical context away from them. And right. everybody wants this to. Like white people are always like, come on. It wasn't us. Like, they want black people to forget everything. Like, every year, white people add 100 years to how long ago slavery was. Yeah. I've heard educated white people say slavery was 400 years ago. <laughs> no, it very wasn't. It was 140 years ago. That's two 70-year-old ladies living and dying back to back. <laughs> That's how recently <laughs> you could buy a guy. That's it. And it's not like slavery ended and then everything has been amazing. <laughs> like it just... Oh, I'm glad that's over. Oh yeah, it just ended like a clean <laughs> where you don't have to wipe. Just boom. And then it's just been parades and presents ever that. since. Oh, that's awesome. You gotta... You gotta remember that if you meet a black person, they have gray hair, they remember a time they weren't allowed to use a certain toilet. So give them a little, you know, time to be cranky. And by the way, white people have our own thing that we, yeah. stuff that we went sure, through. Sure, sure. That, that hurt us that we have to cope with. Like when they took our slaves away. That was really <laughs> hard for us. And we're still, so it's pretty even. <laughs>